Hey, this is your Monday Morning Mortgage Minute, and your day is going to be amazing because you started off right with David Sanders here at the Monday Morning Mortgage Minute. Now, please immediately forget that I just spoke in the third person. That would be awesome. Um, now, today we're going to go through what uh, your average loan process looks like. Um, I do want to say right up front that each loan is kind of its own beast. You know, some transactions will take two to three weeks and some will take six months. It just depends on the factors involved. Now, the best analogy that I can give you is likening it to an airplane trip. You know, you do your research, i.e. you get pre-approved. Uh, you buy your ticket to where you want to go, i.e. you get an accepted offer. And then it's off to the airport to get into your plane. Now, as your loan officer, I'm the pilot now. Um, now, if you agreed to go to a flight to Hawaii, well, darn it, I'm going to get you to Hawaii, i.e., I'm going to close your deal. But in order to get you to where you need to go, I need the help of my crew. That's my flight attendants. Uh, that's grounds crew. That's the FAA. That's the terminal crew. And in our world, it's my assistant, my processor, my underwriter, uh, our compliance review team, the closer, uh, the title officer, their assistants, the IRS, your employer. Uh, so on, so forth. There are so many people involved in a transaction to buy a house that you don't see behind the scenes. But um, that's, as they say, where the magic lies. So last and definitely not least, I need you. Um, if you're on the loan, I need your help. Consider yourself in an emergency aisle, and I can ask you for help whenever I need it during the flight. Um, <laughs> Now, every flight has some turbulence, and it's going to be stressful at certain times. And, you know, there's no way to avoid that stress sometimes. Uh, some flights are more turbulent than others, but I can say that uh, I, I'm going to land the plane. If I take the plane off, I'm going to land it. Um, as long as you don't, you know, open the emergency hatch that you're sitting next to at 30,000 feet. Then we crash, and it kills us all. Um, a little dramatic, but you get the point. Um, if you're feeling stressed, if you want to open that emergency hatch at 30,000 feet, just give me a call up to the cockpit. Let's talk about it. I'm here for you. We're all on the same flight. Okay, so I hope that story just helps you kind of understand that the process is, um, it just can be stressful. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, but you have me, you have my team to reach out to, um, to get you answers when you're feeling stressed, um, to make sure we're taking care of you. Now, to get back on track, <laughs> Once your offer is accepted, um, I get a copy of your contract. I send it to my processor. We have three business days to provide you with your initial disclosures. These are e-signable, uh, but I can print them off if you need to. Uh, they show you the terms of your loan. There's a lot of paperwork, and essentially it just says, along with the terms of your loan, don't commit mortgage fraud. It's nothing against you. There have just been a lot of very um, creative people uh, <laughs> who thought that they were probably smarter than they actually were. Fair warning as well, the truth always comes out. So uh, as soon as you acknowledge the receipt of those initial disclosures, we can get your appraisal ordered. Appraisal usually takes about a week or so to get back. Uh, in the meantime, we'll submit your file to the underwriter. Once we get that back from underwriting, there are usually a few remaining conditions for you, the borrower. Um, think updated bank statements, updated pay stubs, letters that need to be written to explain something in the file. Um, that's a potential red flag and we need some more clarification on. We work with you to get those documents and ask you those questions. And we coordinate along with the title company and your homeowner's insurance company and a few other people to prep everything for closing. Um, I think it's important to state in this loan process part uh, that I'll be asking you for items throughout the loan process. We'll be communicating throughout the loan process. When someone asks me, is this the last thing that I need to give you? It might be, but it might not. Uh, there are rare cases when we actually need something after closing. So you actually sign a piece of paperwork at the closing table that says if we missed anything that you would help us get it. Um, again, this doesn't happen very often, but these videos that I'm doing are meant to set expectations. So you should be, <laughs> you should expect to um, ask questions through the loan process, provide me any documentation that I need, from the day you apply until the day we close, and then potentially after closing. But again, that's, that's very rare. 
Uh, now, as soon as we have all of your conditions is what we call them, stipulations, documents, anything we had requested from you, and we have your appraisal back and everything's good to go on the appraisal, we can resubmit your file for what's called CTC. Uh, that's your clear to close. This is the final underwriting review and where the underwriter signs off on everything that we've submitted to the file. We also request your CD. This is your closing disclosure and it has all the updated terms of your loan, um, your locked in rates, um, how much cash you're gonna bring to close, your monthly payment. It might be a little bit different from your initial LE or loan disclosure, but they're gonna look very similar and it's going to have changed based on what changes we made throughout the transaction. If you say you wanted to bring in more money to close or less, that'll change the terms. If we locked you in at a higher rate or a lower rate than what was expected based on the market, when we did your initial application, that's gonna change your terms. So um, it's very important to acknowledge your CD on the same day that you receive it. And that starts our three day business clock, if you will. Uh, for example, if you e-sign your CD or closing disclosure on a Monday, the earliest you can close is uh, Thursday of that same week. But that's actually a trick statement that's not accurate because this week, Thursday is the 4th of July and no title companies are gonna be open. So <laughs> with that, I wanna wish you the best and safest 4th of July. Um, next week is gonna be the closeout of our four part summer series on the loan process from start to finish. And we'll be discussing closing. Where do you go? What do you bring? What do you expect? Um, I hope everybody again has a safe 4th of July. Have a great um, weekend and I will see you out there this week. Happy 4th everyone. Bye.